Hi this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in today's episode I'll show you a new way to forward emails in Gmail through a Google add-on. Now before I do that let me show you how forwarding currently works in Gmail. So if I have to create a filter that will automatically forward all emails from the domain apple.com and those emails that have attachments to my other email address what do I do? I go to the search box and create a filter. So I'll put apple.com as the from field I'll turn on the option that says has attachment and create a filter. And in the next step, I will choose uh, the forwarding email address um, where I want to forward these emails to and then I create this filter. So this Gmail filter is now up and running and as soon as a new email arrives that matches all those conditions, it will automatically get forwarded to my other email address. So this is plain and simple and it works, but there are three main limitations. The biggest limitation is that you cannot forward your old messages. It only works on new and incoming email. The second limitation is that Gmail forwarder doesn't support bulk forwarding. So for instance, I cannot go to a label, select a couple of messages and ask Gmail to forward them to my other address. That option is not available. The third limitation is that you have to own an email address before you set it up as a forwarding address in your Gmail filters. So you have to go to your settings, you have to verify that you own a particular address and only then Gmail will allow you to set it up as a forwarding address. So there are three main limitations of the Gmail forwarder and we can get around each of these with the help of a new Gmail forwarder that's available as a Google add-on. Let me show you how. The first thing you need to do is install the Google add-on. You can find a link in the video description. Once the add-on is installed, go to the add-ons menu and under the email forwarder sub-menu choose create new rule. What we are trying to do is create a new forwarding rule. So for this example, let's assume that I'm trying to forward all the bank statements from my bank to the accountant's email address. Now for that, I'll put the bank's domain name as the from address because I want to forward all emails that are coming from the bank. Next, I will put statement in the subject line because I only want to forward statement related emails and not other messages. Next, I will specify my accountant's email address because I want all these matching email messages to go to him directly. Now the big difference you may have noticed is that there is no need to verify this address. I can set up a filter through this Google add-on and forward messages to any email address even if I don't own those addresses. There are a couple of other options that you may specify. For instance, if you have multiple email accounts linked to your Gmail account, you can forward messages on behalf of any of those addresses. If the original message has attachments and you don't want to include those attachments in the forwarded message, turn off this option. The forwarded message will include little details like uh, when was that message originally received and who was the sender. Now if you do not wish to include these details in the forwarded message, turn, on, turn off the include header option. And finally, um, an email thread can have multiple messages and by default the Gmail forwarder will only forward the latest message that's in a thread. Should you wish to forward every message that's part of a thread, turn on the forward full conversation option. So we are all set, now click the create rule button to activate this Gmail forwarding rule. So the rule has been successfully created and it will run in the background once every hour. But there may be situations when you cannot wait that long and you want to run the rule instantly. So for that what you can do is go to the email forwarder menu again and choose manage rules. Here you will have a list of all the available rules inside the drop down. Select the one that you want to run and choose run. What we have done so far is created a very simple rule but now let's go to the next step and create a more advanced rule. So for this example let's say I am trying to forward all my important emails to the other address but not all emails that are important. Emails that meet certain other criteria as well. Now what I can do is I can use Gmail search operators to specify this other advanced criteria. So for instance in this uh, rule what we are the criteria that we are specifying is that the email should be received in the last two days. It should have a size that is greater than 5 MB or more and it should have attachments. So the idea is that you can use the wizard to create more simple forwarding rules or you can use any of the Gmail search operators to create a more advanced forwarding rule that uses more criteria before deciding whether a message should be forwarded or not. And before I wrap up, I'll show you one quick tip. So let's say there are a bunch of email messages in your Gmail that you want to forward right now to another address. So what you do is, you go to your Gmail account, select all those messages and put them under a folder. Next you go to your Google Sheet and create a new filter for that folder. 
and specify the forwarder's email address and create the rule. Once the rule has been created, go to manage rules, select the rule that you just created and hit the run button to forward all those messages right now. So that's it. I hope you like the Gmail forwarder add-on and do visit my website controlq.org for more Google scripts and tips. Thanks.